If you followed this video from start to finish, you know how to make an Elm application uh, from scratch, which is great. Um, and if you want to have a little framework that helps you out, uh, there's a framework I made called Elmland that's designed to just help you uh, get rid of a lot of the boilerplate that we kind of had to go through um, and a lot of determining the, de the conventions ourselves uh, when we built uh, this app from scratch. So I'm gonna switch back over to our application. Notice we have this components, this pages, context, effect, flags, this whole structure. Um, and we had, uh, when we were uh, creating our main route, we had a lot of like repetition here for wiring things up. Um, there's a framework called Elmland uh, that's available at elm.land that's designed to just make it so you can just go straight to the part where you're building um, an application. So uh, if you go to elm.land, the guide will show you, you can you know install the latest version of Elmland and uh, getting started with a new project is really easy. So I'm just gonna do it real quick. I'm gonna install the latest version of Elmland and we're gonna see uh, how easy it is to just start adding pages and do all the things that we covered in this course um, a lot faster. Um, of course, if you're still more comfortable with just uh, typing it from scratch, uh, definitely do it that way. Uh, what I'm gonna do is Elmland init uh, and I'm gonna say the name of this project. So my project. Uh, what that's going to do is that is going to create a new project in the my project folder and so if we enter that folder um, and then we run elmland server zoom in a bit um, all that vite stuff that we configured that's uh, all handled for us so uh, here we have an elm application you can see behind my big bulky head uh, we even have the elm debugger um, and everything is uh, is working out great um, Elmland's got a bunch of features. Uh, one of them allows you to very quickly scaffold a bunch of pages. Um, so uh, the code that we have uh, is really similar to what we saw before. Uh, view is that browser document that we took a look at earlier. What you can do is you can uh, do Elmland add page. Uh, and this is a command that lets you just add the sign in page, add that dashboard. Um, everything that you do is going to be um, automatically kind of generated for you and those pages are going to be wired up. So if I want to add a sign in page, a dashboard, a counter, um, if I want to have a dynamic page, like, you know, maybe I have a blog and I want to have uh, a page that handles all the dynamic parameters like blog slash, you know, hello blog slash X, Y, Z. You can even um, do dynamic uh, routes. And uh, the big idea behind Elmland is uh, you can just focus on writing these, these pages, writing these files. It's all the effect stuff that we learned throughout the course. Um, and what's really cool is um, you can um, just make pages real fast. So all that stuff that I just typed, these are all Elm pages that are already wired up, the init, the update, the view, the subscriptions, they're ready to go. Um, so I definitely recommend uh, if you're new to Elm uh, to try this out. Uh, this also has a bunch of guides on how you can you know, use uh, you know, layouts, uh, you can work with user input. A lot of the things that we covered in this course um, are also available for free uh, on the Elmland website. Uh, if you want to work with REST APIs, if you want to work with uh, you know JavaScript, maybe use uh, 3JS to do some cool stuff in the browser. Uh, there's all these uh, docs that are available. So of course, I'm going to recommend this one because this is the one I made. <laughs> there are also other uh, Elm frameworks out there. Uh, if you're into Remix, check out Elm Pages made by Dylan Kearns. Uh, Elm SPA is actually the older version of Elmland, so I don't recommend using that. This is also a framework that I made, uh, but this is kind of a previous iteration of it. So if you see this out in the wild, just know this is just uh, an older version of Elmland. It's all the same stuff uh, that Elmland can do, uh, uh, but Elmland has a little bit more, uh, a little bit more features to it. Um, so be, be sure to check that out. I just wanted to let you guys know that that existed uh, in case you just want to start building something. Um, there's a lot of great uh, stuff that's built in especially for like user sign in and making sure that like dashboard pages are only available to users, that kind of thing. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching.